Hello everyone, my name is Makeda Valletta, also known as The Body Scientist, and um, I am a strength and conditioning coach, a nutritionist, a doula, and um, a sensual strength trainer. So um, I do a lot of work with the body around strengthening the muscles and keeping everything balanced and healthy. And you can check out more of my work um, on my YouTube pages to find out more about my work. Um, so, but for this video, um, I'm going to talk about uh, prevention of pelvic prolapse. And uh, pelvic prolapse is something that um, is, can be common in women, older women as women age, um, but also men sometimes can also have that issue as well, even though women probably have the issue more because of childbirth and um, things like that. And we have a uterus. Um, and so pelvic prolapse is basically when our internal organs start to sag and fall into um, our pelvic floor, okay? And from women, that can happen from childbirth. Um, it can happen from giving birth in your back. It can happen from organs not being put back into place after birth because the aftercare in this country and many countries um, is not existent when women have babies. Um, and so there are a lot of traditional practices even coming back um, there are people, there are different indigenous groups that use fajas or um, binding, belly binders, where they wrap the, the hips and abdominal area in order to support the weakened ab muscles after childbirth. Um, I remember going through a training well, four years ago, three years ago actually, with an organization called Sacred Pregnancy. Um, and they have a really beautiful website, and it it was really expensive, a few thousand dollars, and um, they were teaching different aftercare techniques for women. Um, however, it was very watered down uh, information, very cut and paste from other people's cultures, um, various indigenous cultures, cut and paste, pictures, a little blurb, and it was uh, light hippie dippy uh, people from California who started it. And, um, you know, it, it just, one thing I remember them not mentioning when they taught us how to do the belly binding was the fact that it's important for the internal organs to be put back into the right place before you start to bind, okay? And I've seen some videos too where people are comparing it to uh, um, waist training, which is extremely dangerous. And I will do another video about that, but the waist training isn't good because the waist training, um, the waist training can cause your internal organs to be dislocated. And when your internal organs are dislocated, that causes all sorts of health problems. Not just reproductive problems, but overall health problems. Um, you can check my video, my uh, sabatas and womb placement video. I have a video called Importance of Sabatas and Womb Placement, where I get into depth about that. But it's important for our internal organs to be in the correct place and to be able to, 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 to move with ease and not to be constricted and suppressed and pushed into places they're not supposed to be. So I am not um, a fan or an advocate of belly, uh, the waist training at all. However, after a woman has a baby, um, the abdominal muscles, the core muscles are weakened and they can use extra support. If binding is done and is done too tight, if it's done incorrectly, and, and or if the organs are not put back into the right place first, it can actually cause more damage, okay? So that's number one. So also, the muscles that support um, the repro our reproductive organs and our core area, it's really important for them to be strengthened. That's what's going to help to support and keep everything in place. Um, for the past, what is this, 2016? For the past 11 years, I've been working with Yoni Eggs, Ponani Eggs, Jade Eggs, um, to help strengthen my vaginal muscles and pelvic floor. And I have been teaching a class called Central Strength Training um, for the past nine years, since 2007 to women. And I've learned so much and have come across so many different women with so many um, various uh, health profiles and imbalances and issues. And it is, and I always knew, like just as a trainer, my background is in sports science, exercise science, so I have a good understanding of the body, of anatomy, the bones and muscles and how it all works. Um, but, so I always knew that like, like for, with the spine for example, as a strength coach, as a trainer, if somebody has back pain, or back problem, I can give them exercises to help support the muscles that support the spine. 
but if the spine is out of place then you have to go to a chiropractor to put your spine back into place um, but if you put the spine if the spine is put back into place and the muscles surrounding it are weak then it'll keep going back out of place so they go hand in hand and there's a woman in um, Long Beach California named Pakazani um, you can find her online in Digimama I-N-D-G-I-E-M-A-M-A -M -A. Um, you can find her on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of that in Digimama and um, she teaches Mesoamerican traditional medicine um, she teaches a lot, I've studied with her a lot, been studying with her a lot um, around wound, pla you know, wound placement, um, understanding how to feel and palpate to see if the womb's in the right place, learning to move the womb. Um, there are various techniques depending on what's going on in a woman's body. And um, for the past couple of days, actually, um, she just taught a workshop in D.C. and I, I had the honor and pleasure of being able to assist her and her private clients. And one thing that I observed, um, was that there's I already knew the importance but it just become became even more clear to me how important this is and it, it, something clicked because I've been working on a book for a long time and people who've been following me know that I've been working on a book for a long time but it's just that there's so much that I'm always learning I'm always studying always learning so much more that I'm gonna put in my book and people are like oh just write the book you can do volumes um, so I'm working on it but I finally feel like I'm at a place where I am officially ready to finish this. And a lot of that has to do with my studying um, with Pankazani. So it really clicked to me because I've had women who are dealing with prolapse issues. Their uterus is prolapsed, different things. And they, they want to work with eggs and are asking me if it will help. And yeah, like working with the egg will help, you know, strengthen everything. But you need to have your organs put back into place. And depending on how long the organs have been prolapsed, it may be take more than one treatment to get it to go back into the right place. Uh, it's a combination of a bunch of things. If a woman has scar tissue from C-sections and surgeries, then that has to be dealt with. There's a period of softening that, um, softening the scar tissue using castor oil packs and bajos, or known as vaginal steams. I'm going to have a video about vaginal steams. Um, Pankazani teaches all of this stuff in her Madris Mistika uh, workshop that she teaches. And then she has a three-day Sabadas workshop where you spend three days just on um, digging deep and just on abdominal massage and learning how to do this. Um, and I've taken all her, both of those workshops a couple times and done advanced training with her and she's worked on me. So it's been a lot over the past couple years that I've learned from her and this past weekend it's really clicked. So, the prevention of pelvic prolapse and the treatment of it. The prevention, one, is to understand how to lift correctly, okay? Understanding how to lift correctly, which most people don't, women and men. Um, it's probably more detrimental for women because we have a uterus. Um, and so, this is something that as a trainer I teach, I teach it in my classes, my, my central strength training class I teach this. Um, and Pankazani and I have a retreat that we do. We did it last year in Costa Rica and we're doing it this June in Oakland, California. But in our retreat, uh, Mitris Mistaka is what it's called and I'll put the information about it below. Um, and you can find out about it on her, on her website. Um, but in that retreat we go over something that we call womb-centered fitness, which is learning how to lift properly and certain exercises that are good for the womb, and then there are exercises that are totally detrimental to the womb that can cause it to be dislocated. Um, and so we go over that type of stuff. So learning how to lift correctly, how to engage your abs and your, your core correctly is number one. Um, number two, doing exercises to help strengthen the muscles that support your pelvic floor and your core, and also keeping it elastic and moving. So exercises and dances. This is something I also teach in my central strength training class, something that will also be in our Madrid's Mystica retreat. But that plays a role. The dancing also plays a role in your consciousness of what you're doing. But you don't want too much tightness, and you don't want too much lax um, laxity. So you want it to be um, uh, elastic. So not too loose, not too tight. That, the, the, that's, that balance is very important, and dancing can help with that. Um, especially dances of African diaspora, Congo-derived dances of African African diaspora, which is what I specialize in and teach in my central strength training workshop. So that's number two, okay? Um, yes, working with yoni eggs, and especially the vaginal weightlifting, 
Vaginal weightlifting is when you attach weight to the egg and your, the ligaments and tendons that support and hold on to your internal organs apply a negative pressure in order to hold on to that weight. So when you're vaginal weightlifting, it's no longer just, um, it's no longer just your vaginal muscles that are, that's working. It actually affects your internal organs and helps to keep them tight and just prevent them from falling. The sooner you start this, the better. With prevention, it's so much better to start preventing years and years and years and years before you might have a possible problem. However, if you didn't do that and you are having issues, um, then I would suggest seeing somebody who is skilled at Mesoamerican abdominal massage. Um, there are people who practice something called Mayan abdominal massage, who train with a woman named Rosita Arvigo. Um, I must say that the people that I've seen that have studied with her, I have seen flaws in some of the things that they do and explain. Um, I had never studied with her. I knew about Rosita Arvigo before I knew about Indigimama, um, but the voices in my head and my intuition told me that she wasn't the one to study with. Um, I just noticed that it seems like 100% of her practitioners are older white women. And I'm not against white people studying our um, techniques, but I, I do have a problem when I see uh, an indigenous technique being completely taken over by white people. And I don't see any black or brown faces. I don't see the faces of the people it came from. Um, and there's nobody that's checking them, you know. And so a lot of times, just like the sacred pregnancy organization, I'm sure they mean well, but at the same time it's disrespectful because they're doing a sloppy job and a half-assed job of taking complex indigenous uh, healing techniques and watering it down and teaching it to people in a very half-assed way. So that I don't respect and I don't like. So I, I kind of ha had that feeling about Rosita Arvigo, and from the people that I've seen that practice with her, I'm not going to say it's everyone, but I uh, haven't been impressed enough to recommend them, them to someone. Um, and Digimama at Long Beach, she's the, the, the one I know who does it. Um, there may be others, but you might have to do it in Mexico. Um, so that could be easier said than done. So I would suggest, like, if you can make one of her workshops, even if you have to travel, um, that's what I did when I first started studying with her. I went to California, invested in that, invested in myself. Because your womb, your health really does start in your gut, in your center. So that's the other thing. Uh, that's the number three with preventing prolapse. Making, getting your organs put in the right place. Learning how to, to massage your own organs and palpate and feel so you can do self-care. Okay, So that's the third way to prevent pelvic prolapse. And the fourth, um, also making sure that your digestive health is very, is on point. Because one thing that I've, I always knew that our health began in our gut. But I'm seeing that on a deeper level also working with Pankazani because when working with individuals, I see that a lot of women who have misplaced uteruses, also there's something going on with their digestion, and, so, and they can affect each other. So if, you're, if your intestines is backed up, it can put pressure um, on other internal organs and slug them down and cause them to have issues. Or if your uterus is leaning to the left or leaning to the right, it can put pressure on your intestines and cause uh, digestive issues. And when feces is not flowing, is not going through your um, intestines, when it's not flowing and it's like being stopped up and backed up, your intestines reabsorb all the toxins. And so that affects your health in a negative way. And it can also um, lead to your internal organs just dropping and causing prolapse. So those are, are, are ways that you can prevent uh, the prolapse. And I think, okay, so I was talking about prevention and I was talking about what to do. I think I just mixed up prevention and what to do if, you, if it happens. So now let me just go back and see what to do if it has happened. You definitely want to start with going to a practitioner that knows how to put your organs back into place. Then you want to make sure you, you, you're you consuming foods that are good for your gut. So lots of um, probiotics and bone broth and avoiding grains, a lot of sugar um, to make sure that's good. And then you want to start an exercise regimen that is going to help support and strengthen your core muscles and your pelvic floor. Um, this is something that I specialize in. And I think there are physical therapists. That these, that there's a, an area in physical therapy that um, specializes in this. I'm not sure how skilled they are, but definitely you want to find someone who really knows about that. And not just working out with a regular trainer because honestly, I have a degree in exercise and sports science. I have the highest certifications in the field. And I've been certified as a trainer since 2000. 
and that you don't have to know anything about any of this to become a trainer. There's no mention, and even as my degree in exercise science, we brought in cadavers, uh, we talked about all different kinds of body issues and problems and imbalances, but what happens to women during pregnancy and labor and like just the anatomy of the pelvic floor and, the, and our, re our reproductive organs was never gone into. And um, there was no discussion of that. So I know that most trainers are not thinking about this at all. Okay. Um, you can also look at, um, Pangazani and I have videos on YouTube about exercises that are good for your womb, exercises um, that are not good for your, your womb. And again, we get into that in our Mithris Mystica uh, retreat. So I'm going to, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Oh, and if you've had a prolapse, so you would, you would want someone to help put it back into place. You would support it with a faha or um, a wrap to support your hips and your abdomen. Then strengthening the area, um, exercises to help keep it in place. So those are things that you would do to treat the prolapse. Um, and of course, it depends on how bad it is and what you're dealing with. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you find this video helpful, please share it, because sharing is caring. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. And um, find a Digimama as well, okay? So I hope you all have a great day. I hope this was helpful. And my name is Makeda Valletta. And take care, everyone's people. Bye.